At one of the waypoints of the world, queues of ships stretch as far as the eye can see. Traffic up and down the Suez Canal is not running as smoothly as it should be, as it needs to. And this is the problem. The bow of a 220,000 tonne container ship stuck at the side of the waterway. The Ever Given has run aground and laden as she is with piles of heavy containers, she's a very difficult problem to fix. The vessel lost power, went dark, according to the ship's agent. Uh, losing power meant losing propulsion and also meant losing their steering. She's longer than the canal is wide. And, and so she's jammed in there pretty good. And, and so it's going to be very difficult to, to pull her off. And they have to be very careful pulling her off because, again, they've got all that weight in the center of the vessel. And she's not buoyant right now because she's hung up on the edge. They have to be very careful on this because they don't want to cause a situation that's worse than exists right now. Tugboats have been pushing and pulling at the ship to try and refloat it. An Egypt Suez Canal Authority has released this footage of its officials supervising the mission. But so far their efforts have been in vain and a lot depends on them making some progress. The canal links the Mediterranean to the Red Sea and it's one of the world's busiest shipping lanes. Around 12% of global trade passes through it. More than 50 ships sailed the canal every day last year, carrying almost £10 billion worth of goods. It's around 300 metres wide, but the Ever Given, one of the world's biggest container ships, is 400 metres long. And the more time ships spend waiting at either end of the canal, the longer businesses across Europe and Asia have to wait for the goods and materials that keep them going. This traffic jam could cause a lot of headaches. Garrett Vincent, News at 10.